This video covers how to get started with the SAP Cloud Application Programming Model and the development environment in SAP Cloud Platform, which is the SAP Business Application Studio. First, you need a SAP Cloud Platform trial account. Mine is fre freshly created. If you don't have a SAP Cloud Platform trial account yet, please find a link to a tutorial in the description of this video. So to get started, please click on the tile of your SAP account with the name trial. And you'll then find a item in the side menu, which is called subscriptions. Again, there you should find a tile, which is called SAP Business Application Studio. And you should already be subscribed by default to the IDE. Therefore, to access the application, click on go to application. And you'll then see a overview of the dev spaces you already have. A dev space is a pre-configured, so to say, virtual machine, which is isolated from other dev spaces and already comes with uh, different and uh, pre-installed tools, which you can use throughout the development cycle. To create a dev space, give the space a name and choose the kind of application you want to create. Uh, it could be a SAP Fiori application, a mobile application, or a cloud business application, which we all use. Those are coming with, as already said, with predefined extensions. So for example, we do have different CDS tools already installed, extensions to create Fiori applications, tools to create Java applications, extensions or tools to handle multi-target applications, MTA tools, and different more extensions. Additionally, you're also able to check and enable further extensions if you want to create Launchpad modules or if you want to create SAP Cloud Platform workflow definitions. We keep it as it is, as we want to create a cloud application programming model project and create the dev space. You should see in a few seconds that the dev space is started and in state running. If you click on the dev space name, you will then be prompted or forwarded to the actual IDE. As you can see, the SAP Business Application Studio is ready to be used. Some extensions are still being installed in the background. So let's open a new terminal and see what's already installed and what we have access to. So for example, we can use the terminal for basic operations like having a look at the file system with a projects folder where we later on create our cap application. We also have curl installed, all sort of things. We do have NPM and node installed. But we also have already uh, installed the CDS CLI or the CDS DK with the version 1.8.5 at the time when the video was created. So let's have a look at the channel um, setup of the business application studio. You have the top level menu with all sort of operations, for example, also the command palette where you're able to find different operations specific to SAP, for example, building the MTA file, um, create an MTA module from template, etc., etc. but also generic operations or general operations like Cloud Foundry environment operations um, and so on. On the left hand side, you have access to the file explorer, which we will uh, have a look at in the next video. You also have 
source control with Git operations. You can define debug um, settings or debug configurations to run your application in debug mode. You have a look at, or you can have a look at the Cloud Foundry targets, um, including services and applications, and also so-called SQL tools to have a look at your databases and tables later on. That's a start in a nutshell to the SAP Business Application Studio. Thanks for watching.